Hey everybody, so we're starting back with something a little different. Um, I'm not sure if you know or not, but uh, massively multiplayer game, Star Wars Galaxies, is going to be shutting down for good on December 15th, 2011. And until then, um, Sony Online Entertainment has reopened everyone's account who was in good standing, whether they were, their account was expired or not. Um, they've reopened it until the game closes. So, if you want to have any awesome times on Galaxies, just one more time. Even if it's for a blast from the past, you should do it now. But anyway, I wanted to give you a tour of my house. Um, because, I mean, you know, for posterity's sake. I mean, because once, once this is gone, it, it's gone. It's gonna be gone forever. And so I wanted to have a, something to remember galaxies by and the things I had accomplished and so um for posterity's sake so this is a magic painting controller what it does is it um changes this painting every now and then to something random uh I might be going back downstairs in a second and it will be different I'm not sure but um anyway I'll start going this way and I mean, man, I have a lot of memories in this game. This was my first MMO, um, and I spent about three years on it. And for most of those three years, I uh, tried to achieve Jedi status. But anyway, this is my, like, game room. You know, where I would play cards, or just chat with friends. You know, we would all sit around this nice little fire and worry about Luke and his wanted status in the Empire. Um, I had a nice little serving droid, which I was actually saving until I got to max level in my pilot, my rebel pilot status, but I never got there before my subscription expired. So I just used him as a serving droid. Um, these are the armors I wore as I attempted to achieve that Jedi uh, for sensitivity, mostly. And this is something I got for, uh, as a veteran reward. This little battle scene. Anyway, like I was saying, I played this game for about three years. Um, not long after it came out. Um, and, um, wait, let me bring it to my balcony. Uh, and I spent most of that time trying to achieve force sensitivity. This was back before the new game enhancement that I personally feel ruined the game and made it to where, honestly, it's probably why the game is shutting down. The new game enhancement, you know, as far as Sony Online calls it an enhancement, it's really terrible. It ruined the the social aspects of the game and, and the, really everything, the game, the entire game. And not to mention, it also made it to where anyone could gain force sensitivity from the get-go, from level one. Um, which, I mean, made all of that work I and other people have done for nothing. All I have to show for is this robe and a lightsaber crystal, which I'll probably show you eventually. But anyway, other than that, I have nothing to show for all of my hard work. And trust me, it was work. Anyway, this is my wall of weapons that I used to, on my way to Jedi, in Force Sensitivity. Um, as you can see, this one, this sword right here, it's called Sterling's Two-Handed Curve. If you've never played Galaxies before, you, uh, you should know that there were player-run cities and stores so, the crafting professions were very important to the game because really some of the best weapons you could get in the game were player crafted. And so, you would have stores scattered around each world that each person was trying to sell their wares. You could go into their store and buy their stuff from their NPCs. Um, Athena was another good weaponsmith. Um, and really, it was all run by the players, and that's part of what made this game great. Um, this was a quest gun. Um, and 
really, whenever the new game enhancement came out, it took the game down from like 32 or 36 professions down to 9. You could have so much customizability on from the 39 professions because you could mix and match the way, you know, you did things. This is a sword that I used quite often, you know, I was a uh, two-handed swordsman, um, and I used this sword quite a bit. It was very good. Um, okay, anyway, this is my living room with quite a bit of the things I've collected over the years. Um, paintings and the, and the trophies and these bookshelves, one of my friends that used to play the game crafted them and he named them. Like this one is, um, Rules of the Rebellion, the Art of Gra- the Art of the Ground War. Um, it's- you can't actually read anything by it, but, uh, yeah, so, one of my friends that I played the game with, I mean, I- I mean, he wasn't a real life friend, he, I- I met him on this game, his name was Frabata. Um, he crafted these bookshelves so I could have something in my house. You know, some nice, uh, literature that you can't read. But this one is, uh, Become a Jedi in 10 Easy Steps, and Rules of the Rebellion, Fighting in Space. Um, these paintings I got from different quests and, you know, like, um, veteran rewards because I, I had started the game so long ago. I started the game, um, not long after they had introduced the vehicles and housing systems. So this was like, not long, I mean, maybe six months to a year after the game was released. So my account has been there for about five years. And I've, I played it actively for about three. Um, but I, like I said, after the new game enhancement, I just stopped. I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't bear losing all that work. But, um, yeah, I got... These are all veteran awards. Uh, so I made a little action scene of Boba Fett, uh, fending off a, uh, Tusken Raider with a dewback nearby and the Slave One near that. Um, so this is my bedroom. Um, as you can see, I have a, a Gungan frozen in carbonite. I mean, because who hasn't wanted to do that? Um, so, uh, these are fish that I've caught, you know, in different parts of the galaxy. A holographic, um, I believe he is from Mustafar. If you remember that planet, that's where Anakin fell into the lava after he had become Darth Vader. This is my lightsaber crafting tool, at least one of them. Um, and a broken holocron. Back when, before the new game enhancement, you needed to collect holocrons to tell you which professions you needed to master so you could know... Be, so, well, let me, let me start over. The way you would achieve force sensitivity before the new game enhancement was you would find these holocrons. I mean, very randomly. They, they were very, very rare. They were very valuable. Um, and you would, um, use it and it would tell you what profession you needed to master to go closer to force sensitivity. And so after you mastered the six or so professions that were randomly picked for you, you would achieve force sensitivity and become a Jedi. You would, um, you would start the Jedi quest. This is a Yoda hologram, uh, something awesome. Uh, I have a Luke Skywalker hologram. Um, this, my Katarn armor, I got this from Kashyyyk, um, doing a quest that, uh, the reward was an old set of, um, clone armor. I used that quite extensively whenever I was not force sensitive, and it was a great set, but as you can see, the, the durability on this chest piece is broken, so it's really 
not good for anything except display now. Um, so, I have a statue from my friend Fubata, again. So, these holograms are all, um, veteran awards, and so is this pod racer. Um, and this stuffed at, -AT. So, coming back this way, I, uh, will bring you to my office. Um, so, yeah, um, anyway, I mean, this is, this is a really, was a really great game. Um, some of my hunting trophies, on the way up, yeah, um, and, um, you didn't actually need to find holocrons to achieve force sensitivity. You could just try and randomly guess the, um, professions you needed to master. So, most people would not even bother, um, doing the finding holocrons. But if they found one, it was always useful. Uh, yeah, I have a replica of the Emperor's Throne. So, that is awesome. And I also have a combat upgrade commemorative plaque. The combat upgrade was the upgrade before the new game enhancement. So there was the base game, and then there was the combat upgrade, and then the new game enhancement. So I've experienced all three versions of the game. Um, but anyway, one of my professions to try and achieve force sensitivity was architect. So, uh, it was a lot of grinding. I'm saying I was sitting in front of a crafting station a lot of the time. So anyway, this, I, I was bored. So I found, I made four of these statues, and they look like they're thinking. So I'm like, go away, I'm thinking. Kind of man thinking piece around here. Grr. I'm thinking! Go away! Which, he's looking out onto my balcony. Um, so, this is really it. Um, I can bring you downstairs, but it's just, um, storage area. Of course, let me just do that. Like I said, for posterity's sake. Um, and then I'll call it quits. Um, at least for this video. So, yeah, so, this is my storage area. Uh, I have a lot of floating backpacks, yeah. So, to keep different things in. Um, and this room back here. I never really found the use for it, so it's still empty. Um, but one of the awesome things in galaxies was once you buy a house and place it, it, um, you, um, can decorate it however you want. Um, so, I mean, everything you see placed is placed to my exacting specifications. It's not like, say, Lord of the Rings Online, which I love that game, by the way, but it's not quite like that. Um, whereas, in Lord of the Rings Online, you can buy a house and such, but you can only decorate it with certain place, you know, you can only place decorations in pre-designated places. So, anyway, enough about that. Um, I'm hoping to make more videos about some of the places I've been and tell stories of the things I've done. So, um, until then, I will see you all next time. Later.